I'm Matt Noveski. I'm the bass player for Blue October, and I'm co-owner and resident producer at Orb Recording Studios in Austin, Texas. This is my moniker bass. It's a tele-shaped body, um, which is similar to the old GNL ASAP bass, which I'm a big fan of that style. From day one with the guys, we co-designed it. Uh, I consulted with them, you know, every step of the way as far as what I wanted to use as far as electronics and dimensions and tuners, everything. And they were absolutely awesome to work with. Super easy, great guys. Very, very cool from day one. A few things about this bass that I think make it unique. It has very narrow jazz width neck at the nut. It's easy for people with small hands like me. I can move around on it really fast. It's got hip shot ultralight tuners on it, which are my absolute favorite. It has Seymour Duncan active lightning rod jazz pickups in it, along with the Seymour Duncan three band active EQ, um, volume pickup blend, bass and treble, and it has a Babix full contact hardware bridge, which those are my absolute favorite bridges. To me, this thing is basically my funk machine. It is the funkiest, like just most old school, like thumpinest bass that I have. If I wanna, if I wanna bust out some old like Sly and the Family Stone or uh, you know, some old James Jamerson type bass lines, this is a great bass for it. If I dial it back to the bridge pickup just a little bit though, I get some really cool gnarly sounds. I can kick some distortion on, get some of those, you know, kind of cure kind of bass lines or, you know, quicksand or something like that, a little grit. It's very versatile. And my favorite part is I'm a little guy, I'm old, I got a bad back. This thing is light. It is the lightest bass that I own. Last thing, and this is the coolest part, I think, these guys did this for me, which I think is pretty awesome. These are my kids' names, and we talked about that, and that was the plan. And then when I went to pick it up, they actually had my wife and kids come in without me even knowing, and had my daughter put Daddy I Love You and my son's fingerprints on the base. So this thing is uh, it's capturing a moment in time. And it's one of those one of those things I'll have for the rest of my life and I'll pass it down and I'm sure it'll be around for generations. And that to me is like that to me says everything about the guys at Moniker. They're just they're just good people. And I love working with them.